Hi, horse lovers. So it is day three of our camping trip. The first day we drove and then we did a little bit of arena work with Jafar and Gaston, as you saw. Yesterday was so amazing. All the horses did really well. And then today we're gonna go out and do 15.5 miles. It's more of a moderate trail and I'm so excited to take you with me. I hope it goes well. Some good pictures. Okay, so we're just leaving camp. We have Arlo, Miko, I'm on Jafar, and then Kyle, my husband, is riding Gaston. All right, so we're heading out of camp right now. All ready to go. Do you care about stuff like this? Let's see. So there's a tractor approaching us from behind, so I want to dismount Jafar so that he builds confidence and feels good about everything. And he seems to be handling everything really well, which was great. Good job. Good boy. So yesterday's trail ride went really well. We did 16 miles and it was a really nice loop. If you haven't checked out that video, you definitely should. Link in the description, really fun. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the 15.5 mile loop that we do. This one is a little more difficult than yesterday. There are some really tricky spots, so it'll be fun to show you what I was able to get on film. And yeah, we're really excited to get out and ride again. In this video, you'll also see our last day of trail riding as well. So hope you enjoy, horse lovers. It is another gorgeous day here in Jamestown, Tennessee at East Fork Stables. Today's weather is a little bit warmer than yesterday. Yesterday was about 70 degrees. Today's high is going to be like 86, but we got out early, so that's really good. And this loop, it took us about six hours, so you'll get to see everything really great. Gaston kept finding trees to itch his head on. He is so funny. Jafar is doing great today as well. There was a really, really loud trailer behind us right when we were getting off the road, which I couldn't show you because I had to focus on him, but he got a little nervous, so I just dismounted, and after about 10 minutes, he was absolutely wonderful. We are in some very rocky areas on this trail. There's a lot of little creek crossings, a lot of mud, also a lot of wet rock where the horses really have to concentrate where they're putting their feet or they could slip and fall and it could be really dangerous. So some of these trails are intense. It's kind of hard to show you like through the screen just how bad some of the parts are, but it's also really fun and challenging in a way as well. <laughs> Do it, jump it. That's where you want to slow him down, huh? Good boy. Like right here, you just get him real slow. It gets a little easier. easier. Lots of give and take. Give and take. There we go. See, you like water. Hold on, don't let him go yet, Kyle. <laughs> Good. Good boy. Slow. Good boy. This was a really cool bridge. It was just built straight from rock and it was like a little mini waterfall going into that creek we were just drinking out of. So far, it's been a beautiful trail ride. All the horses are doing really well. We're getting into some more steep areas coming up here and there'll be some meadow areas as well where we can hack out, but we are hacking out through the woods too. We had to stop and take a little bit of a potty break, Smile. drink some water, and then we're gonna head out again. We're having a lot of fun. This is great. This part of the trail was really beautiful because we could hack out a little bit. It was a nice wide sandy trail. It was beautiful seeing the sun streaming through the trees. Just really nice. All the horses, again, they're being really sweet. Everyone's keeping a really nice pace and distance from each other. So we're having a blast. This is cool. So... No. Okay. Oh. 
Good job, Kyle. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I don't know. He saw something and thought, I'm jumping it. <laughs> no. That was pretty crazy. Slow. Easy. Good boy. Good boy. Slow. I know. You're doing so good, little Nico. Doing so good. So everything is going well on the trail. We've been going through some pretty trappy spots. Some difficult areas as well, but I couldn't film when they were really bad because obviously we had to focus. But everyone's doing good. Good job. Look at those rocks. Good boy, you do good. One of the parts we went down on the trail, which I couldn't film because it was extremely technical, it was really, really steep and it was pure rock and all wet. And if the horses slipped or took one wrong move, it could be like really bad. So that was pretty crazy, but I was really proud. Everyone did phenomenal. It was awesome. This is really pretty. This part, there's a lot of big rocks. There's a lot of caves. It's more like damp. There's like little creek crossings really beautiful really cool love seeing the terrain i love the diversity of these trails it's really amazing and it's really good for the horses to see a lot of different terrain from open fields to rocky areas to more sandy trails to woods it's very good for their mind and their body Jafar is handling everything like a champ. If he looks at something, he really thinks about it. He's being really calm. He is focusing very hard on where he's putting his feet. He does really good when he's given a task and he has to focus, which is fantastic. I'm so proud of him. He's keeping me really safe on these trails. So he's awesome. There are a few caves that we can see on this trail, which is awesome really beautiful. Love all the rock formations. It's really cool to see. Yeah, it's like a gorge. Good job, Gaston. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Not a good time, dude. Okay, so our next destination on the trail is the waterfall. So we have to go up some crazy switchbacks and some big inclines. So they kind of go up and down, up and down, and some of them are really steep. All the horses are handling absolutely excellently. There's again, some rocky areas in some of the parts. So we're just being really careful and letting the horses take their time and not pushing them too hard. We stopped at a little flat part so that the horses could take a breather and rest for a second and get some water for ourselves. And we are getting closer to the waterfall. We have a few more switchbacks and steep inclines to do, and then we'll be up there. I'm really excited to see it. It's supposed to be really cool. 
Remember when Jiminy was like beast moating up those hills at Ironton, Ohio? At Elkins Creek? Yeah. Pretty what? He's got a lot of muscle. Something I want to add in is that if your horses are not in shape for trails like these, you want to be really conscientious about what you're doing. My horses are ridden, you know, four to six days a week. We do a lot of trail riding at home and we do have a park that has a lot of hills we can train on. So just keep that in mind or just take it really slow and maybe only do like certain parts of the trail or half the trail. So just want to mention that. All right, we finally made it. We are at the waterfall. Isn't it absolutely stunning? Totally worth it. Such a gorgeous view. All the horses are getting a little break and we're just hanging out for a little bit before we hit the trail again. I know, this is like the best spot. Can we tie them off to a stick or something? All right, we are back on the trail. The next stop we are making, which is not far away, is a beautiful overlook. Cannot wait to show you horse lovers. This overlook is absolutely breathtaking. It is so stunning. I'm so happy that we could ride the horses up here to see this. It's absolutely spectacular experience doing this on horseback. I'm so, so thankful that we could do this and that everything's going well. Just stunning. Really hope you're enjoying this. The horses got another mini break and then right down the hill from the overlook was this perfect little creek. It was pure rock though, so we just had to be careful because it could be slick if they were Good moving boy. quickly. No, not on the rocks. <laughs> we are halfway done with the loop, so we're really excited to see the other part. We'll see if it's more technical oh, or more like hot. open fields. After crossing the creek, we went through a little part of the woods and it opened up to this gorgeous field. Absolutely stunning. The grass is so green. The sky is super blue. The tree line. It's literally the field of dreams. Like, I can't even believe it. My favorite part of trail riding is hacking out. I absolutely love moving out and trotting. Fields are my favorite. Oh, really hope that you're enjoying this spectacular view, horse lovers. This field is literally a fantasy. I'm living my little girl dreams. I cannot believe it. I know I keep saying that, but it's just unreal to me. Look at this. Same. Good. That's so pretty. Also, horse lovers, I just want to say thank you so much. I am over 10,000 subscribers and almost to 11,000. It's all because of your support. So if you would do me a huge favor and like and comment on this video so the channel will continue to grow, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Alex and I were obsessed with this field. It is so dreamy. Hurt and Miko have been doing great together. I love seeing them. And Mr. Arlo has been taking great care of Patrick. <laughs> Slow, easy, but easy. We are just running through this. Good boy. Good boy. Now we are back in the woods and we are going to trot and hack out for a little bit. This is such a pretty part. I love all the greenery. It is so gorgeous. This is legit my ideal trail ride. Working on some technical areas, focusing on those, then hacking out in some fields. It's perfect weather. It's about 80, 86 degrees. I mean, it's a little warm and humid, but it's really great with all the shade and everything. I am loving this adventure. I could do this every single day. It is phenomenal. The horses are taking such great care of us. We're taking great care of them. And that's what's really important is taking care of your horse on the trail and not just expecting them to haul you around without taking really good care and considering them. That's so cute.
We are getting really close to camp and we are by a super busy road. So I decided to dismount and just walk Jafar. Everything has been going so well and I just want to continue that success and continue progressing with him. You can see here, like the cars are right there. There's some motorcycles too. So yeah, I've been dismounting Jafar when I feel like there's situations that he hasn't been exposed to or that would be very stressful to him because once horses experience any adrenaline spike, um, it can be harder for them to bring it back down. So this being, you know, the trail being very new to him, I want to make this a really good experience and not increase like the adrenaline plus anxiety at the same time. So I feel as though it's more beneficial to dismount plus it's safer than to push him through that. Now, if this was say like our fifth or sixth trail ride and he was doing really good, then I might like stick it out, but not in the beginning. You definitely want to take you know, err on the side of caution and be conscientious and set your horse up for success. So that's what I live by. And yeah, he's doing really good. Today's ride was absolutely phenomenal and a memory that I will cherish for a long time. Amazing trails, the horses were great, being with friends, it was so fun. I'm so proud of everybody. All right, we did it. We made it back to camp. All the horses are amazing. We're gonna give them a nice hose down and get them settled in for the night. We got all the horses hosed down. We're mucking out their stalls, making sure they have plenty of hay and water. We're giving them their grain for the evening and just letting them chill and hang out. It's getting pretty dark outside, so we're just gonna relax. We're gonna hang out by the fire for a little bit. We're gonna pack up and head home to Michigan tomorrow, but we're gonna go for a quick ride before. Probably. All right, it is day four of our trip and our last day. We are just going out for a quick morning ride. It's beautiful out until it's gonna be hot. So we got out here at like 7 a.m., so that's decent. <laughs> Good job. All right, step, 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 come on. Man, that's slick. So of course we had to go for a ride on our last day here. This ride was just under 10 miles, but it was really nice to get out before our long drive home. Everyone of course is doing great. We're gonna trot and hack out for a little bit. This trail is a little more flat, so nothing too technical, just a couple of spots with some wet rock and some creeks. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is my favorite way to start the morning. Jafar is feeling really good today. I feel so comfortable on him. Definitely helps that we put in a few days of really good riding. He's so calm and collected. I feel the best on him today. And it's just so much fun, like hacking out, especially for his age and training. I am so proud of this horse. Like he just turned six. He's just been under saddle a year and he's handled some of these trails really, really well. I'm very impressed. He's an amazing horse. Being out in the morning with the horses, it just makes my heart so full. I can't believe that I have this life and that I worked really, really hard to get here, but it has been an absolute blessing and I am so thankful for it every single day. And I'm thankful for all of you as well. Thank you for watching and for all of your support. Like seriously, you guys, my subscribers mean the world to me. Miko has been a boss. He is the cutest pony and he just handles everything so well. Oh, he's adorable. I love him. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Did you live here? Yep. As long as I had a big barn. <laughs> you have to go to the grocery store on horseback. Yep. <laughs> take your ATV to your car. Right. So does it just take you up here and then... Like, does the trail keep going or does it just come up here and... Okay. So do these... I mean, it doesn't... Yep. There it is. 
So do they rent these out or like? I don't know. I feel like this is not. It hasn't had a person for a quick second. So. Slow, slow, good boy. Oh wow. I don't want to go in it. That's cool. Did you video the cat with the door open? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the best horse of all? <laughs> kind of cool though. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, it looks like it wasn't built too long ago. Oh. What can be the case? you'd have to. This would be a cool view, I bet, if you could. <laughs> you'd have to ride up here and pack everything. Yeah, obviously, I mean, they designed it to stay up here, but how, yeah, do you just ride up, Maybe back, you pack up? up? Maybe they can. Walk. Yeah. I mean, they could golf cart stuff up here or something. It'd like, be cool. Look at the snake. I'm a snake. That's sick. Our goal was to ride to the cabin, which you just saw. That was really cool. And now we're heading back to camp and we're going to hack through some more of the meadows. Jafar has been phenomenal. So now I'm going to ride away from the group. I do this on most all of my trail rides. I think it's important to practice that. And he did fantastic. I'm getting him into his nice little Frisian trot. So there's been some people that have said, oh, he's a Frisian standard bred. He doesn't even have the Frisian gates. Yeah, he does. I just don't always have him go into them because you need to practice different speeds and paces. But he does have that Frisian trot when you ask for it. And it is fun. Let me tell you, it is a workout. Look at him go. We're gonna canter a little bit. He's doing great. I rode away from the group twice and I think it's just a fantastic little exercise to do just to make sure that they're responding to you and not getting too attached to the herd while we're riding. Now we're in the canter. Wow, his canter has improved so much. It's so powerful, so animated. I love it. Alex rode Miko away too, they did great. And now her and I are gonna just do a little bit of hacking together. And I just think they look so adorable next to each other, Jafar and Miko. I love riding with Alex. We're having so much fun. This is the best. Yep. Oh my gosh. I'm also kind of yeah, glad. That's true. You guys get a good break and get home. And then back to lessons. <laughs> also, horse lovers, I definitely want to hear what your favorite part of our trip was. So we have the first video from the glamping. The other second video was from our first day of trail riding. And then, of course, this video as well. So I really just want to know what you enjoyed the most about this mini series and the trails so drop a comment below and i want to hear your thoughts honestly my favorite part about this whole trip was just a little bit ago when i was hacking jafar out alone and like doing the canter and the try away from the group like it was just so rewarding after all the work that we put in on the trail over the last few days it was so freeing also the dreamy field that legit was like a fairy tale and it was my favorite part i just love moving out on the trails i could do this forever all day long it's another reason why I really like the sport of endurance too. It's just so fun and it requires so much discipline, skill, and thought. And definitely like time and conditioning. You can't fake this. Like you have to put in the time and the skill to get out on trails like these. And I'm just so proud of all of my horses and my riders too. Like they are amazing and the trip would not have been the same without them. So yeah, it was so fun. All right, so we were able to do a morning ride before we head back to Michigan. It was a super fun trip. All the horses did great, all the riders too. So really hope you enjoyed Horse Lovers. I'll see you next time. Bye.
Say bye, Jafar. So we were literally just getting ready to turn onto the highway and all of a sudden Kyle's like, something's wrong, something's wrong. And we literally lost our brakes. Like we have four horses in tow. Like it was absolutely terrifying. So yeah, we were on our way back and blew a brake line. And I'm just like, we have four horses. I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll figure it out. But it's just like, thank God we're like in a parking lot where there's like food, a hotel, gas or whatever, but it's just, hot I don't know so yeah we're just like parked in this parking lot and I'm gonna give the horses water but like I don't know if I need to unload them like it's still worth it I'm so glad we came but it's just like this shit sucks it's just one of those things like I don't know if we're gonna be able to fix it and if we're gonna be stranded and I'm, I'm worried for my horses I'm worried for their safety like what do we do Kyle is working on the truck right now, seeing if he can fix it to at least, you know, make it safe to get it, get home, but we'll see. All right, my husband Kyle was able to get everything fixed on the truck. So we're driving safely. We're only a few hours from home now. Everything's going well. The horses are fed and watered. That's just one of those situations where you just cry and then you deal with it. So yeah, all is well now. <sighs> that was so scary, like seriously. So we got on the road, we stopped a little bit later to double check everything. All the horses had cooled down. They drank a bunch of water, ate hay, and we did make it home safe. I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye.